Welcome to another episode of Falsehoods of Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about central nervous system fatigue, or commonly referred to as CNS fatigue. So this was made popular, the term was made popular, boy, I think in like the late 80s, early 90s by Arthur Jones. And Arthur Jones is uh, the founder of Nautilus, and then it was kind of kept popular by a bodybuilder named Mike Menser. And so what they were talking about was how there's recovery of muscular tissue, you know, I can train my biceps, and how long does the actual tissue take to recover? Uh, but then there's the neurology associated with activating that muscle, and there is such a thing as the fatigue of the central nervous system in respect to when it wants to recruit as much tissue as, let's say, before an exercise session. So, because uh, effort is very dependent, but maximum effort, the idea was that there's a certain amount of time the central nervous system doesn't want to engage a certain amount of muscle, and it turns out that's true. But in 2016, a lot of research came out that shows that actually cardiovascular exercise has a longer window of time that it takes to reactivate to the same degree some of these tissues is called excitability and it turns out that it wasn't what people thought it was at all it wasn't days or weeks that it takes it's really from a cardiovascular perspective it's like 30 minutes so and if you think logically that makes sense like if somebody does heavy resistance exercise, uh, let's say they do heavy squats or even to a more exhausting degree like X3 squats, then they couldn't activate musculature if they had to run up a flight of stairs or something like that, they couldn't. Or maybe they would lose their balance because they can't fire enough musculature. So we know in soreness and inability to engage muscle are two very different things. So do not confuse those two, different. So when we look at uh, this, this and in, in Thomas uh, in 2015 and 2016, two different studies really did a lot to determine that this cardiovascular exercise was, was more so the acute changes and the inability to to engage or the excitability of, of musculature. But uh, probably more to the point, is specifically when looking at resistance training, very single session heavy strength training is what it was described by Latella in 2016. It looks at what it takes to go to central nervous system fatigue and then how long it takes to recover from. So, this is just uh, something I pulled out of the study. And you can see here's baseline. And this is after somebody exercises, you can see the excitability goes down. So baseline is like right where central nervous system fatigue is. So right after, so right, right sort of after the exercise, you get about a 10 minute window where you're not, you're not able to really engage as much. 20 minute window, you're right back to baseline. 30 minutes, you can activate you know, just as much uh, above, or at least you're above the baseline. And then it shows an individual right about 48 hours later, there's another exercise session, and they can engage to a much higher degree. So central nervous system fatigue is a thing, but it's not a thing that anybody really needs to worry about because the actual tissue muscle protein synthesis is really the bigger issue. Uh, and, and we have a very good understanding of that now with muscle biopsy studies, uh, which is why we know 30, 36 hours is really the window. And after 36 hours, you can uh, you could train again now with the X3 protocol, we wait 48 hours. And uh, that's, that's about it. Now, when it comes to muscle damage, which I'll do another falsehoods of fitness on muscle damage and sort of like the idea that you create micro tears and micro tears have to do with growth. That is not true either. 
Uh, there's more micro tears in musculature when you run a marathon versus do a weight training session. And guys who run marathons, they're not growing any muscle. So uh, it's got nothing to do with it. And uh, that'll probably be the next False of the Fitness. Hope that was helpful. And uh, you can find me or, or people who can answer your questions on the X3 Bar Users Group on Facebook. Over 10,000 users there, who uh, a lot of which can answer some, some great questions. There's also the X3 Bar Facebook page and the Dr. John Jaquish page on Facebook. And then on Instagram, I'm at D-R-J-A-Q-U-I-S-H. Hope that helps. See you soon.